So if you're like me, you are probably sick and tired of frying your eyeballs out every single time you open Fusion. In today's episode of Ty's Tips, I'm quickly gonna walk you through how to enable this new dark theme that a lot of people have been raving about, myself included, so that you can have a much better user experience when you're operating inside of the software and a couple of other features that sort of rolled out alongside this new theme and some updates to the old one that are coming too. Let's jump right into how to enable the new dark theme. All right, so the first thing that you're gonna wanna do when you hop in to Fusion, you're gonna actually come up here to the little help icon, it's the question mark, check for updates. Make sure you do this so that you're updated to the most recent version of the software, that way you have these features enabled. Now, either you're good and you don't have to do the update, if you want to verify that you have the right update installed, you can check what version you're actually on. So come back up here to the little help icon again, click it and then come down to the about section. And right here you can see I have the Fusion 2604.1.48. So I'm gonna float the version here on screen, but you basically basically need to be greater than what they had released in September. So if your version is higher than the number that I'm putting here on the screen, you should have these features enabled for your license. Speaking of licenses, you do not need to have a paid plan. You don't need to have the startup plan. You don't need to have anything fancy. I'm on the free personal use license right now. So this feature should be enabled for everybody across the board. So no worries there. Let's go ahead and make the change to the theme. Come up here to your user account and come down to preferences. And we want to make sure that we're in the general tab here on the left side. And once we are, you'll see right here in the top, you have theme and it offers a little drop down box. You're probably already on the Fusion Classic mode. And this is where we can find the new theme that I've been raving about, which is the dark theme. It's called dark blue. You'll see why in a second. So come down to dark blue. And then importantly down here, make sure you hit apply. And then boom, you have the dark theme enabled for your interface. Now, say you clicked on that and you still have this crazy white background. You might be wondering, okay, what the heck? Well, that sometimes happens when you change your environment manually and you need to go and make that update yourself. So come down here to the little display icon. It's the monitor display settings. Click on that and then come up to environment. And we actually want to go down to the bottom and click on theme. That will match you to this new dark blue theme, or technically it'll match you to whatever theme you have populated in your preferences, but it doesn't really stop there. If you want to kind of tweak this inner work plane a little bit more, you can do that inside of display settings too. I like the dark blue background, which I think if I come into environment, it's river Rubicon. You can change that manually in your environment. I also like dark sky. There's a couple others. There's gray room, there's tranquility blue, if you're feeling really crazy. So another interesting thing about this release is two things. One, they announced that they're going to be retiring the classic fusion theme, but they've also introduced a new theme that is very similar to the old one. So I'm gonna go back to preferences up here and under general, click on theme. Fusion classic is what we've had access to, but they also introduce light gray. I'm gonna click on this for a second, bear with me, it's gonna be bright. And you'll notice this looks very similar to Fusion Classic, but this is the other option that they've enabled as just a direct applied theme for your system. The third thing that rolled out with this, which I actually find kind of cool for anybody that likes to keep their entire operating system on the same theme is under theme, you can click match device theme, hit apply. And for me, since I already have dark theme applied to my entire MacBook, this is gonna match that in its own version for Fusion, which is actually really cool. So if you have slick settings where maybe you're in light theme during certain times of day and then dark theme after a certain time, or, or maybe you just wanna change your entire operating system in one fell swoop, this will match that and enable that inside of Fusion to keep up with whatever your device has enabled. Now, if you're interested in Fusion's version of what this release looks like, they did a nice little write up here and I'll drop that link in the description so you can go through and read through the features and check out a video that they put together as well. And also if you're interested, I'll put a link to the release notes. I'm showing here the actual release timeline that this came out on back in September where it shows how these new themes got incorporated in case you really wanna nerd out and go dive deeper into the release notes themselves. All right, thanks for tuning in to today's episode of Ty's Tips. If you want some more Fusion related content, please check out these videos I'm gonna float here on the screen. If you wanna go a little bit deeper with some Fusion topics that I've been talking about recently. Thanks for watching. I'll catch you next time.